Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Today is a new day, and we're at a craft fair, and it's windy. Yay! Well, the moment you fell, you could start over new. Was the same that you realized the stories were true. You open your eyes, and the world you could see it wasn't dim, it was brighter. You'd have to agree. Yes. All right, everybody, it's Sunday. The last time you checked in, I began this vlog yesterday, showed you a couple of clips of us at the craft fair. Well, of the craft fair itself, not really us. Um, but it is Sunday, it's like four o'clock. Whoa, we finished all of the weekend chores. I just got done with just finishing up, putting some laundry away from yesterday. Um, and then I need to clean some dog poo out of the yard. Now the boys and I are on a walk. We're gonna go on a walk and my roommate has a date. So I'm watching her son. It's gonna be a good time. We're gonna have a good time. Gregory and a family friend of ours, Pete, he, they're watching TV. They're watching the football game. And we've had a really good morning. We went to church, we went to church. <laughs> And then, like you saw yesterday, we did go to the craft fair. We had a really good time. Um, then just came home and cleaned and got a bunch of stuff done. So today is going to be for, the rest of today is just going to be hanging out, have a good dinner, hopefully doing some creative stuff. I'm hoping to sit down and write, um, maybe do some more social stuff, and then just hang out. Okay, so we finished up. This is what it looks like now. Let me give you a better view. Okay, so the boys are downstairs with Gregory and Pete, and I am going to do some writing. So I'm just hanging out on the couch. I got, we went in the backyard to go play on the slide, and I literally got bit in like five minutes of being out there. I got two mosquito bites on my neck, and I'm like, also this piece of hair will not stay in my ponytail and is driving me crazy, but it's fine. I'm fine. Alrighty everybody, it is like 8 o'clock and before I go to bed tonight, before I put my son to bed because he's not going to bed, I'm going to clean out this cabinet in my bathroom. So yeah, watch me organize. So on the lower level, we have stuff that we're using. So like my makeup remover wash is currently in the sink. I gotta get that. Um, but this is like just things like this is hair supplies back here. Like this stuff's hair supplies. And then this is obviously aloe vera sunscreen. 
and then a face wash that I don't really use, but like it's there for people if they need it. Um, fake lashes, fake nails, and there's like a little brush thing if people want it for their face when they come over. Face wipes, which again I don't use because I have makeup erasers. My hot tools, hot curlers. Um, color street and nails color street and then nail stuff in there and then that's a bath pillow that is not blown up currently and then up here we have the restock shelf which is kind of hard to see so we've got contact lens solution toothpaste razors extra um epsom salt this is a kit for weddings with like various stuff in it an extra hairspray and extra aloe vera extra toothbrush tops because uh, i have an electric toothbrush and then we've got body soaps, lotions, body butter, and soaps, and then there's some restock stuff for like scented stuff here, and then candles, and then bath bombs. I used to have my bath bombs in a glass jar on my counter, but I didn't have that many bath bombs, and so I was like, you know what, a much more useful place for that jar was in my basement. Long story short, I decided to put laundry pods, like laundry detergent pods, because I buy um, Drops laundry detergent, which you guys have seen in previous video. But I buy Drops laundry detergent, and so that takes care of all my laundry needs. I, they normally go in a cardboard box that you can recycle, um, but my cardboard box was getting spider webs on it, and I was like, hmm, I don't really want a spider, or more spiders than we already have in the house, not really, not really looking forward to that one, so, um, why don't I take this box away, that's obviously harnessing the spiders and instead of this box I put this jar and it worked out perfectly so now my countertops are a little bit less cluttered and I think that eventually I'll move it back upstairs or grab like buy another one but I don't have that many bath, bath bombs right now so it's perfect then I don't feel the need to pick any bath bombs up and then I'm gonna hopefully wash out my makeup brushes tonight if my baby isn't too cranky and then this goes in our car and needs a refill so since I was cleaning out the refill shelf this is one of the refills in there so I'm going to put it in there so yeah okay so we cleaned the makeup brushes they are safely in here drying for the night and then in the morning we'll put them away but it's not now time to put my baby to bed hi everyone it is Monday and last night you saw me I did bunch of organizing stuff sorry the lighting is really really crappy because it is gloomy out today it's been a heck of a day and I just have not I have not had the mental capacity to do a whole lot of anything today so we've been just trying to get through it but I am on my way to play practice right now um, because we only have one car I have been asking my mom to you know pick me up and bring me or whatever and then watch Gabriel because sitter in the afternoons occasionally and so anyway it's a really long story but she is there watching him and she was like just take my car we don't need to go anywhere and I think I should be done earlier than the, like the practice goes so I'm thinking that I'll actually be able to like head home at a decent time but I do I do not know for sure I don't know Tonight I also have practice for church choir at like 7. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go to that or if I'm going to go, I don't know, I've got some errands to run, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know. There's a lot that I need to see it done tonight, so it's going to be a time. Also. It's, it's been a wild day. Anyway, so yeah, I wanted to touch on the theater thing that I'm doing. I'm going today to size kids for costumes, and then that's, I think, the only day that I'm going to go this week, unless my dad really needs me for something. Um, and then next week, I'm going to go probably one of the days I'm going to go. 
and start making a prep list, kind of see how things are going, you know, that kind of good stuff. And yeah. So just because I'm probably gonna get some questions about this, my dad is whoa. Hello. Okay. That wasn't a smart idea. My dad is a teacher and he teaches in a school that's basically brand new. Um, the district is not new. He's been there for like almost 25 years now, but the school itself is brand new and I will show you some clips of it because it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah, so I'm going there. My whole point is the school is new. I grew up in the old high school that he taught at. But the new one, I had been graduated. I had no reason to really like be there. I wasn't like, I'm not a minor. I didn't live with my parents anymore. So it's like, I've had no reason to be there in the past two years. And, sorry, my ear is like, it's really driving me nuts. But anyway, I don't know it that well. And my dad's like, oh yeah, we'll be in the black box theater today. And I'm like, what is that? Where is that? Like, what? What? <laughs> so he just texted me and was like giving me directions on how to get there. But I was like, okay, so the door that I come in is this door and like this main theater. But we're not in there today because they have coronation for homecoming because everyone's trying to get back to normal. Um, granted, you know, during the school day, they're doing like the masks and everything, but that's like it. Um, and otherwise they're trying to get everything back to normal and it's been going really well um, and the students are really really feeling back to normal which is awesome for the district like it's cool that they can do that but um, man everyone is pulling out right in front of me today and I'm like dude I'm going speed limit calm down anyway so uh, they're doing coronation in there today and it's the theater it makes sense it's the biggest space anyway so they can't which is fine because I think as far as I know they're just doing like a read through so they don't really need to be in the theater but I don't know where this black box is located so but the cool thing about the whole school and like a side note my dad actually designed the black box theater area with like their learning stairs which is the whole thing and if you're not in education it sounds really confusing but it's just like he was like I've seen this at other schools and I think we need this and they had like a lot of teacher input on the school and like they didn't listen to some of it, but they listened to some pieces, this piece being one of them, and my dad's really proud of it, so I'm excited to go see it. All right, everyone, this is a pretty good look for me. I'm liking it. It's called, I washed my hair and then slept on it wet, and uh, this, is, this is what we got going on. I also haven't brushed it today, so it's a good time. Um, but I just wanted to end this video here and say thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell down below so you can get notifications for when more videos come out. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Love, Genevieve.